Jhansi. Perhaps no other city symbolizes valor and sacrifice as this one. This city has been immortalized in history by its great queen Rani Lakshmi Bai and how the people of this city rallied around her as she rose against the British in the revolt of 1857. These historic buildings and monuments in and around the city have been a witness to Jhansi's glorious past. But the story of Jhansi is layered with many pieces that come together. To trace the story of Jhansi, you have to go around 130 kilometers south to Devgarh in Lalitpur district of Uttar Pradesh. It is here, in the forests by the banks of the Betwa River, that numerous Paleolithic tools were found, which tell us that the region was inhabited since the prehistoric time. During the ancient period, Chasi and its surrounding region was a part of the Chedi Mahajanapada, one of the 16 kingdoms and republics that existed in North India at the time. Its importance lay in the fact that it was centrally located on the Dakshinapath, the ancient trade route that connected North and South India. These remnants of the Buddhist caves, hidden in the cliffs by the Betwa River, are a remnant of those times. Here, time stands still and you can even find wild crocodiles basking in the sun. Numerous dynasties rule Jhansi through history and each dynasty left its own mark in the region. Various inscriptions found in and around Jhansi city revealed that there was a settlement called Balwantnagar around the 10th century in the area Jhansi city stands today. The Chandela rule between the 9th and the 13th centuries was followed by that of the Kangar dynasty who ruled from the famous fort of Garkundar located around 42 kilometers from Jhansi city. In the 13th century, Kangar dynasty was replaced by that of the Bundelas. In the 16th century, the Bundela Rajas made Orcha, located